ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day today here at the newest luxury motor coach resort in South Florida. Today I'm hanging out at Jupiter Palm Beach Motor Coach Resort with Jack and Gio. How are you guys How doing you today? Doing, great, Andrew. It's How's so it good to have you here. Yeah, hey, great to have you here. An honor to be here. You guys have been longtime friends of the channel. Really appreciate all the support. We are in a super nice motor coach resort today. What is going on here? We live here. We live in paradise <laughs> with the Jupiter Palm Beach Motor Coach Resort. I think it's probably one of the most luxurious resorts in all of South Florida. And you guys have one of the best lots here with a view of the clubhouse, just a stunning state-of-the-art clubhouse. What all is going on here? Oh my gosh, well, we've got a number of sites that are ready for resale. Developer had recently turned things over and we've got about 100 sites. I've got about six sites now that are available for resale. So if somebody wants to contact us and take a look at these sites, we'd be more than happy to show you around. Now, I heard you guys have some celebrity neighbors yeah. Michael Jordan, Celine Dion, Tiger Woods, yeah. some of the biggest names out there live close by. What is it about the area and why do people choose to live here? Well, I'm gonna turn that over to Jack, who's our <laughs> expert on the area. You know what, Andrew, this is such a special place in Florida. Here we are in Jupiter. We're in the northern reaches of Palm Beach County. And one of the reasons that Gio and I have lived in this community for so long is we really truly have the best of everything. Yeah. We have extremely low density building. We have the largest amounts of green space spaces in Palm Beach County, right here in northern Palm Beach County. And right here from the resort, we're 10 minutes to the Atlantic Ocean, we're eight minutes to the Intercoastal Waterway, three minutes to I-95 and the Turnpike, and we are known, Palm Beach County, as Florida's cultural capital. We have That's the true. best restaurants, shopping, private golf clubs, private marina resorts, and it takes us literally 20 minutes from the gate of the resort to get to the Breakers right. Hotel right on Palm Beach Island. Well, Andrew, I wanna welcome you to Florida's golf capital. Jupiter is known. We have more professional golfers and more private high-end and publicly available golf courses than any other place in the state. One of the cool things is if you're able to score 18 holes on some of our private courses here in the area, you will absolutely, without question, see some of the world's best golfers who are some of the friendliest people, absolutely, by the way. Yeah. Again, whether you wanna hit the links at a private club or maybe even go to some of these amazing, beautiful public courses, Five minutes away, we have the Abacoa Golf Club in Jupiter, one of the best public courses available. Beloved by our golfers, yeah. a lot of the guys and gals from the resort hit that place up every week. And again, five minutes from our Don't front gate. About PGA. PGA National, PGA National, right down the street, right 10 the minutes. Road. It's all right here, yeah. yes sir. We've been to many resorts around the country and they're beautiful, but usually they're in the middle of nowhere and there's, there's nothing really around it. Here we have everything within, everything's within 10 to 15 minutes. Plus you can pick up Brightline and West Palm Beach, which is a high speed rail, take you down to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and now it's gonna go up to Orlando and eventually to Tampa. So we are like in the prime area to, to reach any location really in South Florida. I was getting some great drone footage earlier sure. and it looked like there was a lot of area that's undeveloped around that's here. True. What's What are yeah. the plans for this area? So this resort is actually nestled right in the middle of, I think it's over 2,000 acres of a preserve. So nothing can be built ever around wow. us. This is all nature. There's a beautiful walking trails all through the parks back here. It's, it's a great spot, you can bike ride. Yeah, now what about other motor coach resorts or RV resorts in Palm Beach County? There's actually, there's a moratorium. We are the newest and probably the last uh, motor coach resort in Palm Beach County because they will not allow any more RV resorts. So this is it. One of the other cool things is everything that you can do here in Palm Beach Motor Coach Resort. Of course, the beach is right down the street, but right across the street, we are building a world-class nature center that will house wild native animals that have been rescued in our being rehabilitated here in Florida. It's done in a very beautiful old Florida way, but it'll have a state-of-the-art center. So when you think about kids, grandkids, and guests, you're gonna be able to go see bears and owls and parrots and deer, and you're gonna be able to watch this amazing team next door across the street, get these animals healthy and release them back into the wild. Right. 10 minutes away, we've got one of the world's largest sea turtle hospitals and rehabilitation centers in Juneau Beach, Loggerhead Marine Life Center. We have the amazing Jupiter Lighthouse. I know there's a lot of lighthouse fans out there that travel all across the state to see Florida's beautiful lighthouses. Our theaters. Our theaters are amazing. We have huge cultural centers, the Maltz Jupiter Theater, the Kravis Center, the Norton. We have the Science Center. These are all within 20 minutes of our front gate. So 
when your guests come to visit and hopefully stay in your casita because right the coaches are only built to sleep too <laughs> there's plenty of things <laughs> there's for them to plenty do. of yeah. things for them to do but i mean honestly one of our favorite things is to sit over at that gorgeous pool and hang out with our this friends our here at the private, resort private this site that you guys have here you want to show us around your site here real yeah. quick because this is a special site and the view of the pool the furniture that they have at the clubhouse i'm really impressed but what's what's all going on here on your digs so when we purchased the site it was basically just the driveway so we added the patio added all the landscaping in so i think this kind of works for a seating arrangement because yeah. we've got a great view of the pool we can stumble back and forth to the, <laughs> to the clubhouse, you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we picked this site too because we love the, the water. Fountain. We have the beautiful fountain here. For us, our lifestyle, we are really up at the pool, yeah. at the resort patio, hanging out with our friends. We're barbecuing and grilling. You know, we're just a short, quick walk back to the coach. We've got the dogs on board. Yep. We can stock back up on anything we might need to take to uh, refresh ourselves during a hot sunny the day. Bar. The bar. <laughs> And we love this. At night, the clubhouse is lit up beautifully. It looks uh, like a beautiful old Florida Key West mm -hmm. club. We get the, the, the most stunning sunsets on the yeah. western side of this resort, just pinks and blues. And and I think the best part that what sold us on this property is the neighbors. Yeah. I mean, really, we, we have love 100 sites in here, and I have to say that our neighbors are some of the best neighbors we've ever had. In any of our homes that we lived Truly. in, any of the HOAs, you know, you just wave to your neighbors. Here, we have made lifelong friends from all over the country actually outside of the country as well true canada this has been nothing but wonderful experience i wish we did it 10 years ago the lifestyle the lifestyle that andrew introduced us to yeah. three years ago this yeah. happened right before you know the world went sideways we ended up moving into here and meeting people that we now vacation with and motor coach yeah. with all over the country yeah. and we get to go to their homes and see their towns mm -hmm. and and get out of that bubble that yeah. you need to get out of yeah. when you're when you're stuck in one place for one we've time. been coaching since uh, 2019 september 2019 this is our first coach yeah this is our first rv site we've never rv'd before in our life <laughs> andrew and made again, us take the leap it's his fault i'm <laughs> guilty but hey some of the best folks out there are in the motor coach lifestyle now you just mentioned that there's only a hundred owners in this resort and when the folks see that clubhouse yeah. if you only have to share that with a hundred lots there's a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah. So do you think you could show us around the resort maybe? Absolutely, yeah. uh, let's see some of the lots for sale in the clubhouse, all that good stuff. Let's take a tour. Welcome to the Jupiter Palm Beach Motor Coach Resort. This is our main entrance. We've got our welcome center here where you would check in if you're renting. Come through these gates. You'll see our gorgeous clubhouse. Take a little tour in the clubhouse, shall we, Andrew? Sounds good. All right. This is a nice clubhouse. Have you seen any other clubhouse like this? This is kind of what sold it for us. Very upscale, very high-end mm -hmm. furniture, yeah. tall doors. The ceilings are just incredible. Uh, and then it flows out to that beautiful pool area. But what else is going on here in the clubhouse? In the clubhouse? Yeah, let's take a tour. Let's yes, take sir. a walk. Look at the uh, fitness center, ball-like bathrooms. Kind of cool, right? All the basic equipment that you would need. Yeah, everything's clean, everything Spotless. smells new. Spotless. Yeah. Yeah, I like the huge doors too. Those are about eight foot tall doors. The floors in this clubhouse are incredible. It's really cool. Did you want to see the uh, the men's room? Sure, let's check Don't it out. Don't tell anyone we're filming. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's super high end with a button tough chairs uh, up front. Yeah, this is like a spa. Look at the size of this one bathroom, <laughs> shower. Oh yeah. There's three of these in here. Super high end. So spot to get ready for the pool. Yeah. One of the great things is that we'd like to have weekly events. Every day there's usually something going on that either individual owners throwing a party or it's an organized event. Something's going on here all the time. And back here, we have more bathrooms hiding back there. A couple of game rooms. Nice right. little poker. You guys get some uh, poker games going? Yeah, there have been. There have been some, <laughs> some poker nice. games. Nice. Everything is high end in this resort from the carpets, you can see the diamond stitching, all of the furniture, all of the fixtures, and the doors with the, the glass inlay. Lots. There's, nothing, there's nothing, no no Spence fair. Yes, sir. Look at the billiards room. Many have party in here. You were saying with a uh, hundred lots and all the tiki huts, yeah. this clubhouse doesn't get as much use as it should. It really doesn't. Everyone seems to have their own little parties on their patio, but when you have a much bigger event, you want to impress your friends, you want to come out to the clubhouse, this is where we hang out. You and Jack are next door, so a little uh, shorter uh, uh, Like I said, walk. we could stumble back and forth <laughs> to the clubhouse. Nice, let's check out the pool yeah, here. Yeah, let's do it. Come on out to the pool area. 
Yeah, absolutely stunning. Beautiful tile work. Again, yeah. no shortage of high-end furniture, nice sitting areas over here. And is there a hot tub here as well? Of course there's a hot tub. Now, is this an adult-only resort no. or do they allow children? No, they or... do allow children. There's just not a whole lot of things for kids to do on the property. There's no playground or anything like that, but it is it is geared more towards an adult. You know, we do have pickleball, there's bocce ball, and of course the amenities of the clubhouse. Okay, but no age restrictions. No age restrictions, no. Awesome. Not at all. I know pickleball has been a, a popular sport lately. Cheers. You guys are definitely set up for some nice pickleball yeah. tournaments. Cool. Super clean. What other amenities are here on site? Uh, on the other side of the clubhouse, we have bocce ball, and then there's a big giant field, you know, volleyball events. Yeah, stuff let's take like a look. That. Yeah, some nice bocce ball courts. Mm -hmm. Just a big empty field for volleyball, whatever you guys want to play. A laundry facility. Little spot to get a little laundry done. Is this open to uh, renters and Absolutely, owners? Absolutely, yeah. Nice. It's open 24-7. This clubhouse is state-of-the-art. Now, do you have some lots for sale that you can show we us do? here? Yes, absolutely. Got a few uh, resale lots available. So let's take a tour. Sounds good. Yeah. So you said this is the least expensive site yeah. in the resort? Absolutely. This is site 62. They did a little bit of expanded patio. This one comes with everything that you see with the patio furniture, the barbecue, the storage container, and then the dining set. And they put a whole bunch of landscaping in. Yeah, so I see pavers on every site in here. Every site has full pavers. Already finished out, that's yep. included. And then this is a nice little area here. And you said this backs up to the preserve this back is, here. This is a nature preserve and also the it's a park. So there's actually trails back there. You can ride your bike or oh. walk back there. We have a private access gate within our resort to the park. Very cool. Is yeah. the furniture included in the 299 number? Everything you see is included. Nice, nice. I always love when something's backed up to a preserve like this because even though you're only on this much yeah. acreage, it's like having an additional thousand oh. acres or whatever. You don't have yeah. noisy neighbors back there. A lot yeah. to be said about that. A lot of yeah. value in that. What's the HOA fees here? Property taxes? What kind of expenses can folks expect on top so of the 299? Your HOA dues. And that's going to include maintenance of your site, landscaping, water of course uh, electric you have to pay for and then as far as property taxes go well that really depends on the purchase price of the property so something like this is probably going to be in that three to thirty five hundred dollar a year range really there's nothing else that you have any other expenses on it's it's all inclusive other than your electric the, like i said the water is all included you don't have to pay for any of the amenities that's all included cool and i've, I've got some more questions uh, about the rental pool and yeah. the owner share but do you have some more uh, lots that you could show yeah, us yeah absolutely let's take a look yeah so nice little dog park here everything is just very well taken care of in this resort this site is a little bit of a step up from the last site we it saw. It definitely is. There's some big improvements on this site. This site's currently listed for $399.9. You can see what they did. The beautiful Tiki Hut, expanded paver patio. It's on the water. They've dumped a ton of money into landscaping. Love Look this, this. under cool. shade cover and very high end. You know, I've been yep. in different uh, Tiki Huts and you can just see the, the construction, the construction right? is very high end. Yep. And I like that this is a pull-in lot so that you mm -hmm. get that nice view. Right out your front windshield. Absolutely, yep. and yeah, the paver work, you could tell they really brought mm -hmm. that out like a little uh, tropical oasis here. Look how close you are to the fountain. So you're gonna have this noise at night. You're gonna have that soothing sound of the fountain. You're not gonna hear any of your neighbors or anything like that. Not that you would if you weren't near the fountain, but it's nice to have a little background sound. Yeah, and the water level is a little low right now across the entire state exactly. of Florida. It's been an uh, unusually dry, dry. season this yep. year. Uh, that water level will come up a little bit there, but absolutely cool. stunning. Beautiful palm trees. They added some more of these palm trees in. So they created a nice little shade area underneath here. How much does someone need to become the next owner of this site? Three ninety nine nine. Nice and mm -hmm. same HOA as the other same sites. Exactly. Now, what about rental rates? Are are folks able to rent sites here? How does they that are, work? Yeah, if they want to rent sites, the sites rent for I believe the water sites currently right now are like one sixty. I mean they're just like, that seems very low. I don't expect it to stay that rate. So one sixty for water site. Non water view is going to be somewhere around like one forty five, one fifty, somewhere around there. Wow. So, yeah. Very reasonable yeah. for this level of a resort. Yep. Now, does that include access to the clubhouse? It does, yeah. The, any renter has the full access, just like an owner. You'd have access to the clubhouse, to the gym, to any of the game rooms, and of course, the pool area and hot tub. Yeah, a lot of value there. I, I want to come rent a site here. I'm I'm a little disappointed you guys don't allow my Class B van, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. I don't make the rules. Yeah, yeah. I, I might have to borrow a Class A and come hang out here sometime. No problem. But you also do allow Class Cs or Super Cs? Super 
Super C's, or what's yeah. the restrictions yeah. for that? It's just Class A and Super C, 10 years or newer. Now, if someone does own a site mm -hmm. and they want to put it in the rental pool, what type of income can they get off of their site? Again, that all depends on your amenities and where your site's located. So if you're going to have a tiki hut and you're going to have a water view, then you can ask a little bit higher for your rental rate. You, as the owner, can dictate how much you want your site to be rented for. So the split with the with the rental company, it's a 60-40 split, meaning that the owner of the site gets 60% and then the rental company gets the 40%. Yeah, so that can definitely help offset property tax, Absolutely. HOA yeah. costs. Yeah. and uh, costs for the year. Real estate in Florida is going up very quickly, yep. so not a bad place to own some yeah. dirt for yeah. sure. These prices are going, they're going up. Especially Palm Beach County, yeah. just one of the hottest zip codes in the country Absolutely. right now. Absolutely, yeah. So. Just location, location, location. That's it. Here's another nice lot with a beautiful Super C Renegade on here. Yeah. What's going on with this lot? So this is site 66. This one is also a water view site. This is currently on the market for 349.9. This one you can do whatever you want with on as far as, you know, where do you want your, your tiki? You want a casita? It looks like they've already had a lot of extra paver work done. Yes. Yep. And I think the really big advantage of this site is I heard the neighbors over here get a little wild from time to time. <laughs> we might we might we're the neighbors we're the yeah. rowdy neighbors again just a quick trek over to the beautiful pool and clubhouse right there 349 uh, 349.9 same association just nice yeah. great opportunity for someone oh, yeah. uh, do you have any other lots uh, any other we examples should. you can show us let's go sounds good yeah. i recognize this king I air awesome motorhome one of my favorite coaches this site is just Isn't super cool? cool i just wanted to show you the site this is one of our friend's sites but what they've done with it, it's incredible. And just want to give people ideas of what can be done. First of all, the landscaping, it's spectacular back here. Beautiful tiki hut. Yeah, very tranquil back so here. And I love this King Air too. Right? So, the yeah. green is very striking. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, do you know how many square feet this lot is? This oh, is huge. Gosh, probably around 6,000 square feet, maybe more. Like I literally want to talk quieter here because yeah. I don't want to interrupt anybody. Beautiful coach house, bathroom in there. I mean, they did a great job she's got a nice little fire pit sitting here it's like an oasis just keeps going and then again that's the preserve oh uh, i don't know i think i could take a nap right. i might just uh give you the camera and hang out back and here and then back here is kind of like the we call this the naked beach <laughs> because it's so secluded nobody can see what's going on right oh here. super yeah. cool and again it's all up against the preserve so there's nothing ever happening back there nice now, is this lot for sale? It's not, it's not. But I'll let you know when it comes on the market, if it comes on the market. Yeah, and, and this little coach house here, mm -hmm. now, what are the regulations? Can folks stay in the coach houses? So or? technically, no, you're not supposed to sleep in the coach house. You can build them up to 200 square feet interior space. So, and you can go, you can go as high as this, or maybe a little bit higher. But you can put furniture in there furniture, and- you can do a little kitchen in there if you want. This one, they went with the bathroom and desk area and, um, you know, kind of hang out, like a little living room in there. Nice. Yeah. All of the tiki huts are all much more robust structure than what I've seen in a lot of the other areas. The real nice outdoor living area here. This this really is incredible. Is this a bigger lot? This is a corner lot, so a little this bit is bigger? A, it's a pie-shaped lot. So yeah, so it's got a little bit more width back here. Okay, unfortunately mm -hmm. it's not for sale, but uh, do you have any more lots that are available? I do, let's go. Awesome. This is a really cool site here. Looks like this coach is getting a little it detail is. action too. Detail. Yeah, this is site six. This one is on the market for 349.9 and this is like a pie shaped lot like we just it saw is. it's kind of a pie shaped lot you can see they expanded the pavers out they did this wonderful little step up and the tiki hut over here ultra private backyard area and that includes the tiki hut and i think we found one of the top detailers in the country right, Andrew, alfredo nice the clips again. good to see you i saw you at liberty coach last you time if you guys need detailing down in this part of the country this is the guy right here so Thank you guys. God bless you. God bless you, buddy. Appreciate you. So, so again, this site is literally steps from the clubhouse, steps from the pool area, which you can see over the over the hedge there. Ultra secluded. It's just a great spot. Check out the tiki hut. Step up there too, just to give it a nice yeah. elevated feel. A lot of people will put recessed lighting underneath there, so it'll glow at night. 
But look at the construction of the Tiki Huts. I mean, they really have gone over and above. Nice big thick beams, all looks like all cedar. Yeah, Cypress, I mean. Now, would someone be able to build a coach house or add more to this huge lot back here? Yeah, there's, there's actually more room for probably a coach house over here. What's the permitting process? What's the construction? Um... So you can only build during certain times of the season, normally when it's not busy here. So during the summer months is when you're permitted to build anything that's noisy, really. So, because during the season, we like to keep it quiet. I respect that. Yeah. Yes, sir. But then just normal permitting. Do you have yeah. uh, contractors that you recommend? or um, We do have contractors that are constantly working in here that I'm sure some of your neighbors would be able to recommend. But yeah, there's there's a handful of contractors in here that have done most of the sites in here. I always respect the detailer that rolls in a Sprinter van. A uh, big shout out to Eclipse Mobile Detailing. Hey, so a little uh, walking trail here. Now it does say no pets. Where do these trails go to? So this is a public park. So this basically goes through the entire park and cross, crosses over to River Bend Park. You can bike, you can walk. I mean, plenty of wildlife that you'll run into out here. Very, very cool. cool. Yeah. Do you know about how many acres this preserve is? Yeah, I want to say it's over 2,000 acres. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer, uh, who can they get a hold of to purchase one of these lots? That would be me. So my name is Giovanni Destadio. I'll give you my cell phone number. That's probably the easiest. It's 561 309-2600. Or you can email me at Giovanni, and it's G-I-O-V-A-N-N-I at P-P-I Realty.com or Palm Beach Motor Coach Resort resales.com. Now, if someone wants to come and rent a site and kind of check out yep. the, the resort, what is the availability? And I'm sure it probably books up quickly, yeah. but what, how does that it, all well, work? Traditionally, it does book up quickly, especially in season, because most of these sites are going to be, you know, between November and I'd say end of March, beginning of April, we are 100% usually occupied. So if you want a site here, you really want to try to book well in advance. Current rates are going to be posted on the website as far as the individual sites go. Okay, so folks can book that on Oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, they can call the main office and they'll help them with the bookings. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make sure to leave that information in the description below. Really appreciate you showing Andrew, us around today. Good seeing you again. Likewise. Also appreciate all of you subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Have a good one. See you, everyone.